here are some naked eyeshadow palettes for you today. This um, was kind of a long time coming because this naked eyeshadow palette thing, just this craze that exploded over the last couple of years, it took me a while to jump on board. I already had a lot of neutral eyeshadows and I really didn't think that there was it was necessary for me to get any of these neutral palettes even though they looked nice. Um, but my friend Lulu got me the naked palette. Um, as you know, this was probably last year, and as you can see, I haven't used it nearly as much as most gurus have because, to be honest, it's very glittery in places, and it's also, the colors are not so unique that I ha don't already have, like, singles of so many of the dupes of these types of colors, so I really use this just for clients and just for weddings, so it's not really something that I use on a daily basis like others do, but I do really like it. Um, and I like the Urban Decay quality, the eyeshadows. I do not like these glittery colors like Sidecar and Half Baked. I think they are way, there's way too much fallout involved, so I rarely ever use them at all. Um, but very recently, probably about two months ago, I also acquired this um, palette. This is the Naked Eye Soft and Sexy palette by Too Faced. And as far as neutral palettes go, this has been my palette of choice. I actually pick this up almost daily. I adore it, and I love the colors are kind of cool neutrals as opposed to these really, really warm bronzy gold neutrals that are in the Urban Decay Naked palette. And I think that's kind of the feel of the Naked 2 palette as well, but this one is just awesome, and it's Too Faced eyeshadows are really great and really creamy, and I adore these. Um, so I wanted to kind of give you an idea of where I'm coming from with my taste in these neutral palettes before I do this rave review that I'm about to do. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of why this palette is so great. It's got a black, and this camera doesn't really zoom, so I might have to do some swatches um, by camera at the end or take pictures. But this color here called Stiletto is a really, really great matte black. And then this color here called Like a Virgin is like a really great uh, matte taupe. And, neat, and both of these are colors that you can use quite often in many, many various different types of makeup looks. So I really love both of those colors. But my favorites of this palette are these three soft colors. There is a beautiful, perfect matte ivory color called In the Buff, and then a beautiful satiny pink color called Pink Cheeks that is, are just ideal for um, the lid and the, and the brow bone, especially in, you know, pinup and, and vintage inspired looks. And then this color called Birthday Suit, you can't even see it if I swatch it, it's so, so um, subtle, but it's perfect for um, a transition color, just to start your contrast in the crease. This is just a wonderful, wonderful, useful palette. So I do strongly recommend this. It's $36 on, um, at Sephora. And I'm missing the beautiful case that goes over it, but this is a really excellent palette, um, the Soft and Sexy Naked Eye Palette. But now that I've kind of explained those two, I wanted to go ahead and do the review for today, which is for Senna's Haute Nudes Sultry Palette. Um, Senna has been a very big supporter of my channel for quite a few years, and I love almost every single product I've gotten. Their skincare is fantastic. There's so many great things that Eugenia has developed for that line. And I wasn't really um, all that excited when I first got this palette just from looking at the, the case that it came in because I'm like, oh, it's another Naked Eye palette. But I have to say that this is now my very, very favorite Naked palette. And it isn't because the colors are, I mean, it isn't because the eyeshadows are so much better quality than the Too Faced ones because they're not. The quality of the Too Faced and the quality of the Senna are very similar. They're kind of a creamy consistency, but these colors are so unique. Um, I don't have any colors like this. I mean, I do have colors like it, but there is a subtle variance in these shades that makes them completely unique. And let me just explain why. First of all, this nude here, is an absolutely perfect replacement in my eyes for Max Bank Blank Type, um, Blanc Type, whatever you want to say. The reason is because Blanc Type um, is a really, really great color, but it is sometimes you have to build it up a bit, quite as opaque as I usually like it on the first swipe. This one, on the other hand, is extraordinary. You can see here, I'm trying to keep the it's just an extraordinary soft matte nude color. And it's a slightly golder tint.
to it, um, a slightly more ivory, yellower tint to it than blank type or the Too Faced in the Buff. And I love that. Um, I think it complements my skin tone better and I think it more mimics a natural highlight on my brow bone. So I am obsessed with this nude and I have been, or this matte ivory color and I've been using it obsessively. This next color, which is a matte, like naked beige tan color, which you probably can't see at all on this camera, but this next color is perfect as a contrast starter shade in the crease. It's, um, you know, an excellent transitional color, and if you use it just coupled with the, with the matte nude, it makes a perfect um, transition to the crease while still being very subtle. These two colors down here at the bottom, these lovely brown shades, are beautiful as well. Um, the dark brown is not quite as pigmented as it might seem to be just from looking in the pan, but it's still a beautiful shade. But one of the colors I definitely wanted to mention is this one here. There are no names on these colors, so the palette, um, it's like this reddish brown color on the top right corner. This color is perfect for eyebrows on redheads. It is my new soft brown. Now soft brown by MAC um, is an excellent color for eyebrows and I still use it here on the inner corner. Anyway, the soft brown is slightly lighter than the this shade here. And this shade goes on so opaque and so beautifully that it just makes the perfect eyebrow color for redheads because it's a nice warm brown just like soft brown is but it's a little more pigmented. So therefore I use this for my inner eyebrow and then I use the this color here for my for my arch. I absolutely adore this palette in every way. Not only are all the eyeshadows beautiful, but almost every one of them is matte. The only one that's not matte is this lovely shimmery brown that's in the middle of the bottom row. And that one is very similar, um, I would say, to well, a slightly more frosty version of maybe um, Satin Taupe, one of those shades. No, it's, it's golder than Satin Taupe, so it's more like Yeah, it's like a less shimmery version of Smog from the Urban Decay palette, is what it's like. It's incredible. This whole palette is wonderful, and it's so blendable, and the shadows are so creamy. So if you're looking for a warmer version of a Naked palette, similar to the Naked palette by Urban Decay, but without all the glitter and non-necessary colors, this palette is wonderful because it's just six shades, but they are all completely useful and buildable and just incredible. The blush here is really great because it's kind of like a cross between a bronzer and a blush. If you put it here as almost a contour, it gives you a warm glow without, um, but also serves as a blush. And then this highlight, here you can barely see it, I'm sure, but I'll take pictures of swatches. Hopefully we'll be able to capture these colors on camera. But this lovely highlight shade is perfect for the cheekbone and for a highlight during the day without being super frosty and super shimmery. It's just beautiful. So I cannot rave enough about this palette. I love the case that it's in. It's such a nice, very sturdy case. It's not so big and cumbersome for your bag. So Senna has really knocked it out of the park with this one. I am a huge fan of this palette. Um, and I like it every bit as much, if not, I like it more than this wonderful Too Faced palette, but this Too Faced palette serves a few different purposes because, like I said, it's much cooler uh, tones. So both of these are worth an investment. Um, enough on that. I wanted to also give you a life update. I actually, um, we are actually moving quite unexpectedly. We will be moving on December 1st, so therefore I do not anticipate having time to do videos, especially video tutorials, before we move. That will probably mean that my next tutorial of sorts will actually be not come until the second week in December. Because of that, um, I do very strongly encourage you to go to Facebook and like um, the Lisa Fremont Street page there if you can. Also, check out my blog, which I have linked below, because I will be updating to Facebook and my blog regularly, as always. That's something that I can do during the day when I'm working and not really have to um, 
to uh, put too much time into but still stay connected to you guys. So please do check out Facebook, check out my blog, and please um, be patient with me during this time because this is, when you rent, this just happens. Um, sometimes you just have to move unexpectedly, but I think it's going to end up being a very positive thing for us. So hopefully all of you can bear with me during the whole moving six people process, which is a huge deal. Um, and let me think, was there anything else? This flower is the blossom of the month for November. Love it. It is a Gerber daisy and it kind of matches my hair. Um, so that's that. And this t-shirt is a Dirt Daubers t-shirt. Thank you, Jessica, for the t-shirt. I love it. Dirt Daubers are a great band. Check them out as well. Um, I've used their music in my videos, actually. Okay, so that's all I guess I have to say right now. I'm going to miss you guys while I'm... Um, you know, transitioning, but this is the last time you'll see this bathroom in my background. I'm sure you'll see this when I move the screen because this is kind of my background anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be quite a transition. Um, and oh, and the lipstick that I'm wearing, by the way, is this Bare Essentials lipstick called Bronze, and it's number 9036. And it's very pretty. But I know that you guys always ask about that kind of thing, so I didn't want to forget it. And I hope that you guys have a great day and will, like I said, keep in touch with me over the next few weeks.